hello friends welcome to my channel so today we will see that how to store data means how to store your organization data so we always face a challenge uh, means how we should store organization data because hr is having uh, their own data okay like marketing it operations account all department want to keep their data and they want that only their department should see the data and to whosoever they are giving the access only those person should be able to see uh, the data okay so today we will see how to create a site in sharepoint and how to create uh, document libraries department wise and how to provide the access to those document libraries so that other department should not be able to see the documents of uh, any other department okay so let's start so we are in office365.com portal so from here we will go to admin from admin see we have this is our admin center so from here we'll go to sharepoint this is our sharepoint admin center so there are many settings but first we'll start with this active sites okay so here you can create a site So team site next will be give any name to your site tag for you you can create a group owner who will manage the site and this user will be able to see all the documents of all the department site language this is advanced setting what this advanced setting says that do you want this site private or you want it public public means anyone in your, in your organization can access the site okay that we want okay everybody should be able to access that site but the whosoever is accessing that person should have access to the folder to which the department had has given the access to other folders or other uh, department folders or uh, data that person should not be able to open okay this is the uh, scenario on which we are working next we can select the time zone So always select the proper time zone otherwise when you will see the audit logs in your uh, this uh, office 365 uh, audit portal so from there you will see the mismatch of timing it will not configure this properly okay next so here you can add members so just for the test purpose So my site is created. So how to browse that site? You can search here. Tap for you. From here, if you click on this, you can see all the properties of the site. Permissions. You can set additional admins. You can manage your sites. Okay. Here the owner, member, and the visitors. You can also set 
means how the sharing will work okay so from here all the setting is there means anyone means you are just providing the link to anyone then this option is uh, you will click on this option okay the user can share file and folder using link that don't require signing okay new and existing guest means the user means we have to create an account in our uh, office 365 or azure then only that user will be able to access okay means new and existing guest we can also limit like suppose if anybody is from gmail.com that user will not be able to access sorry the only gmail.com user will be able to access means we can allow from here if we click on block then gmail.com user will not be able to access our data completely okay you can block and allow and disallow from this option you can set this expiration of guest access like how many days suppose after seven days 30 days okay. after 30 days the link will expire automatically and that user will not be able to access to whom we have shared this uh, data from our sharepoint site okay so these are the settings you can set as per your requirement so we'll click on save done so now let's browse into the site so this is the url so whatever your parent url this url will add into that and uh, your site will open like this okay so this is your first look of your site okay now you can customize as per your requirement so as i told you that you have multiple departments in your organization and now what you want you want to create those department in your site and you want those person to store their data there only on those document libraries and other department should not be able to see those documents okay this is the scenario on which we are working so let's start so first we will go to here create a document library suppose first i'll create a hr you can keep any description okay like that you can create another id sorry Create one more library, go to home. You can show it in navigation means on left pane this these all document libraries will appear create hr operation same way you can create other also id Just take last one as accounts okay Hmm. So suppose these are the folders we created and you want to delete some default folder then you can click edit. Okay, remove this. Then remove this. Then remove this. Remove this. We have our own folder now. Okay. You can also move these folders up and down like suppose you want to keep this up then like that you can do okay save so 
this is how you have designed your uh, SharePoint library. So now what you will do? So see, there are hundreds of settings in this, but I will tell you main main settings. So suppose you want to restrict accounts to the accounts department only, then you will click on this, click on setting, then library setting. Okay. From here you can set permissions. Okay. First. You, what you will do, you will do stop inheriting permissions. Okay. Now you will delete everything from here. Just keep only this uh, owner and yeah, remove user permissions. Now, what next? Now you have users in your accounts department to whom you want to give access to okay so now suppose only tech user should be able to access then this is the thing otherwise you can grant permissions to the user so from here you can select user who can see your library or you can create a group in office 365 and select that group here okay this is the best way recommended ways to create a group add all accounts member in that group and add it here and give the right what right you want to give okay here you want to send invitation then invitation will go and this setting tells you that share everything in this folder means whatever subfolders and other folders are there so share everything with this right edit right okay so you have many um, other right also like full control design edit contribute read so you can give as per your requirement so there is lot of difference between these things like edit and contribute means in edit you have edit access plus you can create a new folder in that uh, library contribute means you have edit access but you cannot create a folder so you can read this thing uh, how what is the difference between all these groups so this is this will be very helpful when you are giving the access means you should know what is the difference between edit and contribute hmm? like that you can read what is the difference between design edit full control right now just for the demo purpose i am doing this so now what is happening here so let's say first this so first user is having edit access okay so now first user let's go back. if you create any folder here you'll see the rights so you can see first user have edit access of this subfolder also okay but if you will go into it and you will create a folder here and uh, suppose you create a folder any folder first it folder create this and you check what right this user is having see here you will not find that first user means first user will only be able to access the account folder not the IT folder now here in IT same way you can add the IT people in operation you can add the operation user okay this is the way to con to create a site and create a document library and give the appropriate permission so there are many other permissions which you can give in SharePoint but if I will tell you everything then the video means you <laughs> the video will be a little bit uh, will become a little bit longer so that's why I'm not including everything maybe in next video I will include the next uh, permissions which you can set in your SharePoint. Okay. 
so this was it and uh, thank you very much please like my video and uh, subscribe my channel and share as much you can thank you very much